Cops review the video, and it allegedly showed the woman pulling her gun out on the McDonald's employee, demanding a cheeseburger bundle, which is not on the menu, and if the order wasn't filled, she would push her shit back. A few minutes later, things take a Welcome to CSL TV, and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part helped you with someone out, and we just gonna watch some videos and talk about it. I mean, you know, a lot be going on in this world. A lot been going on. But, if you've been rocking with your boy, I just gotta say thank you so much, because you could be somewhere else trying to find these videos, but you decide to stay here with me. CSL TV. Man, I just think about life. I'm about to have back surgery for the first time. I ain't never had surgery before. So it's like crazy that this is coming. But anyway, I'm heavy on that. The story is heartbreaking. This is TikTok star Kelsey Pummel, who has over two and a half million followers there and over 350,000 on Instagram, where she's known for posting comedy skits and lip syncing videos, many with her daughter Kobe, who's also a budding star in her own right, a model with 36,000 Instagram followers. And Kelsey posts videos with her husband, Curtis Woods, who's also a TikTok star with over a million followers of his own. They have a new baby together, but copes from a previous relationship with this man, Devin Williams. Kelsey once explained they have a strained relationship that was getting better, but that all changed this week. Police just announced they found Devin around 6 a.m. Monday morning. He'd been shot and died on the scene. At first, police thought the shooting was self-inflicted, but shortly after, they determined that wasn't the case. So far, they've detained one person, but haven't announced any arrests or other details. Kelsey posted this to TikTok in a video that's been viewed nearly 10 million times. Kobe's dad died, so we've had a bit of a rough day. I'm not ready to speak on what happened. I am currently in the anger phase. I fought so hard. <laughs> did everything right so she wouldn't have any trauma and he just left her with a lifetime full of it support came pouring in and while it's near what happened kelsey responded to one user who said this thank god kobe was with you when it happened to which she responded if you only knew how true this statement is she says she's taking some time off social media to be there for kobe rest in peace devon this story out of Florida is incredibly stupid. Why would I threaten someone and I'm still sitting in my car waiting on my damn order? That doesn't make any sense. Body cam picks up as an officer arrives at this McDonald's restaurant in Brevard County. The cop first goes up to a woman parked out front. How are you? I'm good, how are you? They gave us a call of a female with a handgun in their lap. A handgun? Yeah. Oh no, so I'm here with waiting, picking up my son. Oh, okay. The officer then makes his way to the drive-thru where he finds the suspect he's looking for. Put that gun away! Put it down! Cop gets the woman to exit her vehicle. Get out the car! The woman gets out and another officer places her in cuffs. She says she has a permit to carry a gun and the cops interrogate her at the hood of her car. Do you have your ID and your concealed permit? <sighs> yes, what is, um, what is the problem? Apparently they saw your gun and they thought you it's were threatening in the, them. It's in the car. I have okay. it in my car. That's where I have it. Okay. I'm just telling you. It's what, no big deal. She got mad man. because she she got mad because I asked for my order. That was the problem. I didn't do nothing. All I said was I'm still waiting on my number one order because I asked for it. Now I'm trying to go home. She tells cops she's still waiting on her food order. The cops explain why she might be in trouble. How do you do this? saw your gun. Okay. You were threatening her. I did not threaten her with nothing, sir. At all. Why would I threaten someone I'm still sitting in my car waiting on my damn order? That doesn't make any sense. Cops say they're going to play back video to see if the woman threatened a McDonald's employee as the woman takes her phone to try to get a hold of her mom. So what do you want them to tell her? Tell her to call my phone because I'm having a problem at McDonald's that could call possibly send me to jail. An officer continues to explain that if she's done nothing wrong, she'll be released. Listen to me, please. If you watch the video, it didn't That's happen. Here. Those handcuffs come off, you go home. Do you understand? Cops review the video, and it allegedly showed the woman pulling her gun out on the McDonald's employee, demanding a cheeseburger bundle, which is not on the menu, and if the order wasn't filled, she would push her shit back. A few minutes later, things take a turn. You wanna put her in the car? Yep. Okay. 
For what? It was probably under arrest. For what? What what did I do? Hmm? What did I do? Can you tell me why I'm running? You watch the video, so Oh my god, these people are crazy. Cops put the woman in the back seat, and the woman is soon taken to the station, where she gets searched, and as she takes off her jewelry, cops further elaborate on why she's been arrested over her gun. Well, the problem is that you have it open, openly displayed in your vehicle. Yeah, it has to be securely contained. This all went down back in March, but this footage was just released. In 2021, FBI statistics found that restaurants are the eighth most common setting for violent crime in the U.S. And across our country, including states like Florida with lax gun laws, experts have routinely concluded that when there are more guns, there are more gun deaths. The 26-year-old woman was ultimately charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon without intent to kill and open carry of a weapon. Now, she need to sit her eyes Now, Why would you up here saying you need the cheeseburger bundle? That sounds so goddamn ignorant and stupid. Just for the simple fact, we don't have cheeseburger bundles at McDonald's. I work there, I know. So you can say whatever you want to say, but your ass probably didn't came through McDonald's, ate at McDonald's, need somebody to serve you some at McDonald's. And she just fucking threatened somebody through the drive-thru at McDonald's over a cheeseburger bundle. Something they don't even got. So you probably think it's somewhere else like Burger King or somewhere they got the Whopper bundles and shit, you know? And, and and I agree, more guns do means more violence when it's in when it's in stupid people hands like this. I agree. More guns equals more violence in the hands of stupid people. So this individual right here, I hope she learned from what she did. And who knows, she might not be able to carry again legally since she was illegally open carrying how she was and up here on the threaten people over something they don't have a cheeseburger bundle